What's up, everybody? So, the library kit is done. We are prepping for this weekend. We have a drift event at Apple Valley Speedway. I had one of my friends come over, Brendan. You're gonna see him this weekend at the drift event with me. Um, we're gonna be getting down. He has a Mustang. He came out to help me out today. Here, I was lifting the car up. I forgot to chalk it in the back, so it started to roll back. And uh, the welds were kind of shitty on this front bash bar, so it ripped the front, ba front bash bar off. I got lucky and it didn't do any damage to the intercooler or anything like that. So I do have that pulled off right now. The library came out super sick. So as you guys can see in here, this is it holds the power steering fluid in it. And it goes over to that little plug right there. And uh, there was a little bit of a leak in the lines. As you can see, all of these, it should be the steel braided like this, but it was um, aligned like this. And after a while, uh, they just get hot and just get kind of old and brittle and they start to crack a little bit. So it was causing a little bit of leaking down there. So I got that taken off. My buddy next door, um, at the fabrication shop took care of all the welds on the inside of the cage as you can see We still don't have any brake lines, but who needs brake lights? So tomorrow we're gonna be welding that back up on the car We're gonna be getting the car ready for Apple Valley Speedway this weekend. The library kit came out super super sick Let me get the hood taken down so you guys can see a little better so here is the livery kit, the defined auto design livery kit. You can see I got the branding right there on the front of the car. Um, I left out a little bit back here so I can put some other brands and then we're gonna put all the, all the other sponsors on the top and the back window back here. We have a little bit more to throw on the car. It looks a little bit mismatched um, because I got this livery kit actually designed for me by LookSpec for the BRZ. And uh, I wanted to get the same kit. I just wanted to get all the graphics on this BRZ for my S13, but because it got designed for the Pandem wide body kit, it's gonna be on my BRZ. All the fitment was different, all the lines like matched up differently. So he gave me a bunch of extra pieces and it was just like, just kind of have at it, you know, just print it and kind of just like make it look good. So that's kind of what I did. I kind of just like, kind of made them like have a little bit of like a pattern. I don't know. It looks what it's whatever, but it's it's version one and it was easy. Threw it together. I'm not completely done. I'm gonna throw a little bit more in here and there so it looks like it goes a little bit smoother, all the body panels, but so far it's super sick. The print was really good. Put this bumper front of the car so we can get our, our thumbnail pick. Prepping for our first drift event. So my boy fixed the seat bracket right here. It was like super shitty and it was just like on there. You see right here in the front how there's those two line, like those two openings. So basically that's how it was before on the back. Uh, there was three of them that went all the way like this and there were slots for bolts to go and they were just completely like drilled out fucked up And it was just like hanging on by a sliver. So he put this piece right here Secured up and it's looking a lot better. It's a lot safer. <laughs> I'm not gonna die now Way to be a race car if we weren't working on this thing last minute. It tends to be that's just how it goes uh, From all the other youtubers all the other drifters that I've watched everybody's always working on their shit last minute So I'm thankful to have friends like this who are gonna come and help me out with everything that I've done today Thankfully, Brendan is lending me a hand and we have replaced this uh, power steering line right here. We got a little bit of an insulated braid now. Um, originally, we, we had this old power steering line that was put on here with these hose clamps. And as you can even see right there, specifically, when you start to tighten up these hose clamps, they act like a vise and it just starts to pinch it. Now that we have the new power steering line on here, we're gonna go ahead and get the car jacked up and we're gonna rotate these tires from left to right to go ahead and bleed it a little bit back into the system so that we can get some play. turned on we're getting the power steering pump activated and it's just turning it left to right to work all the power steering fluid throughout the system man prepping for the track day is a lot so we got the toolkit we got water we got our jack and our jack stands tables and all of our tires for the day so the 240 is on the trailer as you can see this wide bitch 
was a little bit of a struggle to get on, especially past the wheel wells. Good thing we don't necessarily care all that much about these wheels. Thank you for getting it on here. Whoa, whoa, there we go. That's for the camera. <laughs> so right now we got a uh, half-ass bumper hang on right now we're gonna throw this bumper on with some zip ties just so we can get to the event and then i'm gonna button it up once we get there you can see we have everything loaded up in the truck there is a lot more in this truck than you guys can even see we have everything for our booth today plus everything for the drift event plus his tires my tires so there's a lot going on thank you so much daniel for letting me borrow your trailer no what's worries, your bro. company called ie trailer service and repair so if you guys are in the ie and you guys are looking for a badass trailer like this I know you got, a lot of you guys are going to be watching this drift video. It comes with a wench. How much weight does this hold? 12,000. Total weighs 12,000 pounds on this thing. This is a beautiful trailer. Uh, you can get a trailer like this. This is a 20 footer for around 7,500 bucks, right? Yes. Around 7,500 bucks. And then every two feet after that, it's going to be a $400 discount off of that just as you, as we're going back in material. So this thing is absolutely beautiful. As you see, I could probably get away with an 18 foot trailer, but probably gonna go ahead and get one like this, maybe a box trailer, I don't know. But all right guys, let's go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna head out to Apple Valley. We got a long drive. So we're packed up right now. Brandon's on his way. I don't know, if, keep going, just keep going, just go. This is not the road to Apple Valley Speedway. Oh God. Oh my God. Hot tub? There's a hot tub. There it is. Let's go find Brendan. We pulled up to the track and uh, we're unloading. And Brendan decides, this, he's like, hey man, I hear a hissing in here. Is your back tire? And I'm like, oh my. All right. So instead of, we can't put this tire and uh, can't put that tire on it. So we gotta take the front tire off, put it on the rear, and we gotta put a fucking spare on the front because this is shitty. So. Sent it a little bit too hard and uh, blew up the engine. First track day. Your bumper's gonna fucking catch. Just go. Keep going. He said, keep going. still sitting at a temperature of 200 and 200 degrees so okay so we went out we did a couple runs and then the car died 
uh, someone crashed. We wait, we waited, and I turned the car off, so the car died. Then we had to come back out, jump it, went over the skid pad, and uh, I just sent it way too hard. I kept going and going and going and going, and um, I blew up the engine manifold. So we'll show you some video of that tomorrow when it's a little bit brighter. Right now we got everything on the trailer. I had a super fun time though, and uh, we threw on a really good show for all the people. So I hope everybody had a good time, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you tomorrow. All right, so it's like 1.30 in the morning and we're driving home right now. Today was fun, but I killed it in a literal sense today. Um, what really happened today was I blew a tire on my truck, <laughs> had to swap that, blew an engine on my car, blew out, the trailer so I destroyed every single thing that we straight had killed it. straight <laughs> killed it so it sucks to be completely honest we'll just see what happens tomorrow I really don't have anything else to say so I just got the car off and I had to start it up obviously to get it to roll back a little bit we're leaking some fluid pretty sure it's just power steering Oh shit, that's oil. Uh. Let's see if we can see any leaks. I don't see anything, so this is definitely a bad sign. You can see all of the oil that's shooting out. It sprayed the entire windshield. All right guys, I'm gonna end this video out here as that being our first event. Thank you guys like always for watching, viewing, and subscribing. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe because it means the world to us as we grow this brand. Thanks, peace.